Hare Krishna, my name is Dion, Dion Goldsmith, and welcome to video number five, the last one in the series where we discuss the five main subject matters in the Bhagavad Gita as it is authored by Srila Prabhupada. Now, just as a reminder, and I'm sure you know if you've watched all five videos already, the five main subject matters are, and hopefully you can repeat after me, Ishvara the supreme controller or God, Jiva, the living entity or soul, Prakriti, nature, Kala, time and karma activity, which is this video now. So welcome, welcome, welcome to a profound exploration of the Bhagavad Gita's teachings. And this one's on karma, the principal activity and the law of cause and effect that governs the unfolding of, of our life's journey. Now, within the intricate web of actions and, and consequences, karma serves as a guiding force that shapes our destinies and influences the direction of our spiritual evolution. And in chapter 3, verse 9, Lord Krishna imparts a timeless wisdom as he always does. Work done as a sacrifice for Vishnu has to be performed. Otherwise, work binds one to this material world. Therefore, O son of Kunti, perform your prescribed duties for his satisfaction. And in that way, you will always remain free from bondage. This profound teaching underscores the transformative power of selfless action and the significance of performing one's duties with devotion and detachment by offering our actions as a, as a sacrifice to the divine to Krishna and aligning with the higher purpose of service, we can transcend the binding, binding uh, effects of, of karma and we can attain spiritual freedom. Karma, as made clear in, in the Bhagavad Gita, encompasses a spectrum of, of actions that generate impressions and, and consequences. It's shaping the course of our lives and our spiritual evolution. There's three types of karma. There's selfless action. There's harmful action and also inaction, a karma. So these define the moral and ethical dimensions of our choices and our deeds. Now, through the practice of nishkarma, the selfless action performed to, for the benefit of others and as an offering to the divine Krishna, God, one can purify one's mind and elevate consciousness and progress on the path to self-realization. And this path of altruism and service embodies the essence of karma yoga and the yoga of selfless action. The Bhagavad Gita highlights the importance of righteous action or dharma in aligning with moral and ethical principles that contribute to the well-being of society and foster a sense of, of harmony and justice. Now, by adhering to the higher values of righteousness and integrity, we can, we can set a positive example and inspire, inspire others to, to follow the path of virtue. And the concept of karma also extends beyond individual actions and the interconnected web of, of cosmic casualty where every thought Every word and every deed reverberates through the fabric of creation, influencing the collective destiny of humanity and the unfolding of the universe. Now, I want to give you a further four quotes that I love from the 
Bhagavad Gita and the first one I've already mentioned, but I think it's so important and we go back to it again and it's the Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 verse 23. The soul can never be cut to pieces by any weapon, nor burned by fire, nor moistened by water, nor withered by the wind. Bhagavad Gita chapter 6 verse 5 A man's own self is his friend. A man's own self is his foe. Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 verse 47 The fruits of action performed with a desire for rewards are temporary. But the consequences of selfless actions lead to eternal fulfillment. And now, Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, verse 18. One who sees in action, in action, and action, in inaction, is, an intelligent, is intelligent amongst men. And he is in the transcendental position, although engaged in all sorts of activities. Now, by cultivating awareness and discernment and um, mindfulness in our actions, we can navigate the complexities of life with clarity and purpose aligning our inactions and deeds with the higher principles of, of love, of truth and compassion that lead to spiritual growth and self-realisation. Thank you for joining me in this series of five videos exploring the, the main subjects in the Bhagavad Gita. I won't mention them again, I hope you know them. I hope you have enjoyed the journey as much as I have by writing and, and hosting these, these videos. Now with all of the, the study and the writing and the retakes of videos that I messed up, it's taken me tens of hours to produce these five short videos. But I have learned I've learned so much and, and gained a deeper understanding of this timeless wisdom and I hope that you have too. And now next that these videos are going over to my editor uh, and my YouTube manager, Shiplo Day. Um, and he will probably spend days editing and, and finalizing these videos as well. So please do give these videos a like if you haven't watched or liked the others, please go back and, and do so and please do like them and also perhaps subscribe to show your appreciation to us two devotees and share the videos to your friends. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.